All right, station number two, your warm up 10 ankle rotations, 10 mountain climbers, driving those knees, not bouncing the hips, kettlebell deadlifts for four reps. So nice flat back. It's kind of like a kettlebell squat. Um, into four Russian kettlebell swings. Russian just means that we're going to eye level, just not taking it up all the way. Four step ups. Making sure you step up with both sides, so alternate them. Four knee grabs. And four box hip openers. So you're gonna have a box and you're just gonna use this time to stretch out a little bit. You don't have to spend too much time you're gonna alternate, spend a couple seconds toggling around from both sides. You're gonna hit that warm up up for five total minutes. After that, your workout. As many reps as possible. Six kettlebell swings is gonna be first. 70-55 is for our X. Now we are finishing with that kettlebell all the way up overhead. Bottom of the bell is pointing straight up towards the sky. We're hinging at the hips, which means we are not squatting. That butt is sending back behind you uh, to the wall behind us. We're squeezing those glutes. Those arms are acting as a pendulum just to get that kettlebell up. Now, what we want to see here is nice straight arms as we uh, finish with that kettlebell up overhead. So notice straight arms. What we don't want to see is bent arms, and we don't want to see you dodging that head through with that kettlebell even facing in front of you. He can't even do it with that light one. Okay, straight up towards the ceiling, nice straight arms, full extension. After your six kettlebell swings, you're going to do box step ups with the D ball. So you can hold that D ball at your chest. You can hold that D ball at your shoulders. I don't recommend holding it at your belly. Um, I do. Oh. Tarkin recommends holding it at your belly. But what you can't do is push off of your leg with your hand, your forearm, your elbow. You have to stay clear and step up and step right back down again. Now you do not need to alternate them, but you do have to have an even 50-50 split, which means you have to be able to do three on one side and three on the other. Make sure you put your ball somewhere safe. We're not stepping on any balls here. After that, we are ending with a run. No matter if you're doing RX Performance and Fitness, you are doing a loop around the upper parking lot. It's 150 meters for everybody. We are am wrapping that total rounds plus additional reps. Each meter you do will count as a rep and you're gonna have to use those meters as your best judgment. If you get halfway through, call it about 75. No cheating, be fair.